Are they not concerned about the current state of the Electoral Commission? What we are concerned about is what the law says ought to be, which has not been. And we have come to the court and urged the court on the points of law. The Electoral Commission contended that the right to be registered to vote and to vote from abroad is not one that can immediately, you know, be done for them. Even though it claims that it had been doing so assiduously, the evidence shows that it has simply been sleeping on the job or just deliberately not intended in making sure that what Parliament has had done was giving, as it were, what it needed to be done. Number one, they challenge our view that the right to vote is a fundamental human right. The court has heard very clearly that the Supreme Court has already settled this matter, that the right to vote is a fundamental human right. And we didn't come only on the Constitution of Ghana because the law allows that certain rights that are required for an effective democracy, if they are not here as fundamental human rights, are applicable. So we went all the way to the African Charter. We had the court on the African Charter, on the Universal Declaration, on the European Convention, and all of those. And the court has held quite rightly those provisions of law. They were of the view also that a mandemus cannot lie to compel the Electoral Commission to do what the law and parliament says it should do. The court has held rightly that the Supreme Court has been very clear on the matter. Mandemus will lie. And so now Mandemus lies. The Electoral Commission has 12 calendar months to ensure that the right legislative instrument is put before Parliament outlining the modalities for the operationalization or implementation of the rights of these people or these persons, our brothers and sisters abroad, to be able to be registered from wherever they are and to vote from wherever they are. It's as simple as that. The, the point is that the directive is and the order is specifically to the individual commissioners. There's something you need to understand. It is directed to the individual commissioners because if they disobey the orders of the courts, they will be in contempt of courts and they will be hauled before the courts. So they have no option in this.